testing for you aquatic fragrances to find creative and pleasant to wear scents. Awesome for tuning in. We are going to today look at the Bulgari Aqua Atlantique, one of uh, my first Bulgari fragrances I actually bought after also watching some reviews online. That's why, how we like to do this in the fragrance community. And uh, yeah, this is a very interesting smelling scent, probably a little bit more casual. And then in part three, I'm gonna walk you in detail through, through the notes that this fragrance has so that you get a better understanding of that fragrance. And in part four, like always in my videos, I'm gonna share with you my personal experience uh, of wearing this fragrance. I like to wear this during spring and summertime, but sometimes fragrances can also be very versatile. And uh, yeah, I enjoy this fragrance, so let's get rolling and learn a little bit more about it. Wonderful, then let's have a closer look at the Bulgari Aqua Atlantique fragrance for men. And as you can see, beautiful packaging and a creative design. Guys, I had to turn up the brightness of my camera pretty high. I hope the picture quality is still good. So this scent definitely is a little bit more unique than let's say other maritime scents uh, that you might know or aquatic scents like the Aqua Dijon line, for example. The, that, that would be probably a little bit more acceptable to the masses. Here you are you're somewhat more creative, but they did, in my opinion, an interesting job between uh, retaining this uh, commercial aspect of, of the fragrance, but also trying to be a little bit different than the masses. Beautiful design and here you see the batch code. Let's me, let me quickly check the batch code and if I can find it, show it to you in the side card. I wore this a couple of times and I find it interesting because it just smells so different than other commercial fragrances that I own. And uh, why don't we just go ahead and jump to part three and look at the notes. Very nice. Now looking at the Bulgari Aqua Atlantique, my first Bulgari fragrance that I ever bought. I sprayed something on the tester strip and let it dry down a little bit. And you can see here, beautiful uh, water droplet kind of shape. So you definitely know this is something for aquatic uh, slash maritime fragrance lovers. And smelling the smell. Yeah, right off the bat, uh, right, off the, right from the beginning. Looking also at the side card, you smell that this is an aquatic scent and that's why I got it. It's relatively new, surprisingly, 2017. The perfumer was uh, Jacques Cavalier. Uh, it's an eau de toilette concentration and I would describe it as aquatic. Um, you could maybe say aromatic and very fresh and maritime. I think this could be uh, for someone who loves uh, aquatic fragrances or maybe you have never owned an aquatic fragrance before, you're thinking about it, but you don't want to get the classical ones, the Aqua Dijos, you know, what everybody has. So this could be a nice differenti differentiator right here. And if we look at the notes, interestingly, we see bergamot, lemon, sage, water notes, ambergris, and apple. And uh, the main players in that fragrance to my nose are also the water accord and the sea accord, as the water and sea notes in here, benzo and vetiver, patchouli and sandalwood. Very interesting scent guys, very interesting scent and jumping to the conclusion right now. This fragrance might not be for everybody, but it, it can definitely appeal to aquatic fragrance lovers. And like I said uh, before, if you, let's say you want to add an aquatic fragrance to your collection, but you don't want to have these uh, others that, uh, that are very common, these Aqua Di Jos, then this uh, could be an interesting alternative. For who might that not be? Um, this does, uh, it, it does smell uh, different, so it's not your... It has a little bit of this blue aspect in there. You know, sometimes there are these blue shower gel type of fragrances uh, that give uh, that have these manly masks in there, but uh, this just smells nice. It smells casual, it smells a little bit relaxed. Uh, it's an enjoyable scent. If you can get a good deal on it, definitely check it out. I added it to my collection because of its uh, little bit unique qualities and I enjoy wearing it from time to time. Here on my channel page, you can find a bunch of different uh, playlists 
four different uh, niches, so, so men's fragrances, unisex fragrances, uh, niche fragrances, designer fragrances, summer, spring. I'm gonna organize everything there. A lot of people have already subscribed because of the useful content that I provide for you here. You can subscribe right now as well, but you don't have to. Let me know what your fragrances, favorite fragrances are. I see you in the next video, guys. Take care. Terrific. And if you're interested in fresh, light, aquatic scents, uh, then maybe you're also interested in this cold classic, the Armani Aqua du Jour. Uh, maybe you have never tested this before, then I encourage you to have a look at it. It's a very hedion and uh, especially I think Kalon heavy fragrance, but that's why a lot of people like this apparently. And uh, I also find myself reaching for it air, uh, in the, during the summertime quite frequently. Awesome for tuning in. You can subscribe right now as well. Take care.